Welcome into Greensboro, North Carolina for Game 3 of the three-game set between the Citadel and UNCG. I'm Kenny Mann, and I will be with you today. Taking the mound for UNCG will be Dan Lotz. Lotz enters play today. Coming off a win in his last start against VMI. In that game, he worked five innings, gave up five earned runs in a 8-5 to five win for UNCG. The lineup for the Citadel Bulldogs will go as follows. Taylor Cothran will be leading off playing right. Jeffrey Brown batting second and playing left. Jonathan Sabo batting third and playing third. Bryce Leisure will be the DH today. Followed by William Kinney, Joe Sabatini, Clay Martin, Cole Buffington, and J.D. Davis will hit in the nine hole. Leading off the ball game for the Citadel Bulldogs. The right fielder, number two, Taylor Cochran. About ready to get started here. Dan Lotz coming in today with a 5-2 and two record and a 5-3-1 ERA. And the first pitch from Lotz misses high. And we are underway. The 1-0 from Lotz misses again. And it's 2-0 now on Cothran. Cothran, three hits in this series so far and nine at bats. As the 2-0 pitch goes right down Broadway for strike one. The 2-1 misses again, and it's 3-1 to Cothran. Yesterday, Cothran won for four for the Citadel. 3-1 foul back to the backstop, and it's full count on the leadoff man. Payoff pitch, swung on and missed. It'll be a strikeout to start the day for Dan Lotz. After the strikeout, that'll bring up Jeffrey Brown. Coming to the plate, the left fielder, number eight, Jeffrey Brown. Take another look at the strikeout from Lotz. First pitch to Brown is swung on and fouled back for strike one. The 0-1 pitch. That one chopped out to short to Trip Shelton. Trip Shelton throws over to first and a good dig by Michael Goss to secure the out. And it's two up, two down so far for Dan Lotes. They'll bring up Jonathan Sabo digging in with two outs. Number 15, Jonathan Sabo. Sabo two for four yesterday. With a pair of RBIs, he takes a big cut at the first pitch, but comes up empty. The 0 one popped foul, and that looks like it'll find its way out of play. And it's 0-2 on Sabo. Sabo drove in the... Only two runs yesterday for the Citadel in the 8-2 to two loss. As these two teams have split the first two games of the series. Citadel winning game one on Friday, 5-2. As the 0-2 misses outside for ball one. UNCG picked up the win yesterday, 8-2. Matt Frisbee with a complete game. Big swing and a miss from Sabo. And that'll be the second strike of the day for Lotes, and that will do it for the top half of the first. We will head to the bottom of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, and we'll be right back. UNCG would like to thank Pepsi for their continued support of Spartan Athletics. 
Thank you, Pepsi. The road to Omaha begins in Greenville, South Carolina. The Southern Conference Baseball Tournament comes to Floor Field May 23rd through 28th. Enjoy some great college baseball with a trip to the NCAAs on the line in a city the New York Times calls one of the top places to go in 2017. Get your tickets to the tournament and book your rooms in Yeah, That Greenville today. Experience the games. Explore the city. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Welcome back. Getting ready to get the bottom half of the first inning underway. And taking the mound today for the Citadel will be Alex Bilakis. Bilakis coming off a outing against ETSU where the Bulldogs picked up a 7-5 win. He went three and a third inning, gave up three runs, walked two and struck out one. Behind him defensively will be Jeffrey Brown in left. Clay Martin in center and Taylor Cothran will be in right. In the infield is Jonathan Sabo at third. William Kenny at short. J.D. Davis at second. And Joe Sabatini playing first with Cole Buffington behind the plate today. Leading off for UNCG will be the right fielder Ben Spitznagel. Leading off the bottom of the first inning for UNCG, the right fielder, number three, Ben Spitznagel. The first pitch is Spitznagel is swung on and fouled off to the left side for strike number one. Spitznagel 0 for 3 yesterday, but drove in a run. The 0 1 is lined into the right center field gap, and that'll get down and looks like it'll be extra base for Spitznagel. Spitznagel heading to second, rounding second, heading to third. And he will get there in plenty of time, dives in head first for a leadoff triple for the senior right fielder. Spitznagel wasting no time in that at bat. Drove the second pitch of the at bat into the right center field gap. And just like that, UNCG is threatening in the bottom half of the first inning. That will bring up the shortstop, Trip Shelton, who was one for four yesterday with a pair of RBIs. And a chance to add on to that RBI total in his first at bat. As that one's chopped out to shortstop, they'll get under the glove of Sabo and throw not in time from William Kinney. And Tripp Shelton is safe at first and will advance to second on the throw. Back-to-back -back hits for UNCG, and just like that, a 1-0 lead for the Spartans. And a man on second with nobody out. Coming to the plate, the center fielder, number four, Andrew Boris. That'll bring up the three hitter, Andrew Moritz. Who's looking to pick up his first hit of the series. Mort's hitting 382 on the season. A 
as a 1-0 from Bilakis is taken for strike one. Count even at a ball and a strike to Moritz. With trip shot and the runner on second base. The 1-1 one, one pitch. That one grounded to the left side, but will dribble foul. And that'll make the count one and two. One to the count. With nobody out and a man on second for UNCG. By Lakers gets a sign and comes set. And the one two pitch. Taken just off the outside corner. That evens it up at two and two. By Lake is staring in. And the 2 2. That one ground up the middle. Trip Shelton will move up to third. And the throw not in time as Mort's legs out. An infield single. That puts men on the corners now for UNCG. Still nobody out. And the power hitting first baseman, Michael Goss, digging in. Another look at that infield single from Moritz, who was hustling out of the box and just beat the throw at first. Wind blowing out to right field today as Balikas throws over to first, not in time. First pitch to Goss. Taken high for ball one. Goss over three yesterday with a walk. And scored a run. Another throw over to first, not in time. UNCG with men on the corners, nobody out, and one run already across this inning. The pitch to Goss. Misses inside, and it's 2-0. and Michael Goss was a part of the back-to-back -back walks that got a big fourth inning started for UNCG yesterday. Inning where they played at six runs in the 8-2 to two win. The 2-0 finds the zone. It's 2-1 and one now on Goss. Goss steps back in. Goss will call time and reset. Count still two and one on him with nobody out. With Trip Shelton on third and Andrew Moritz on first. The two on pitch. Moritz running on the pitch. That one lined into left field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Trip Shelton will score easily on that one. And that would be an RBI single for Michael Goss.
now batting, your left fielder, number 24, Cesar Trejo. A leadoff triple followed by three straight singles. And UNTG with a 2-0 lead and still nobody away. Cesar Trejo the batter now. Both runners go and both runners are safe. A double steal from UNTG and just like that, two men in scoring position. Still nobody away. Cesar Trejo was two for three yesterday and just missed having a three-run home run in that big fourth inning. One knows to count on him as he takes that one in there for strike one. One one offering. Just off the outside corner will be two and one. Wart's the man on third. Goss the man out on second base. Still nobody away in the bottom half of the first inning. Trejo takes that one on the outside corner. And that will even it up at two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 pitch from Bilakis misses in the dirt. And Trey has worked the count full. Little bit of activity down in the Citadel bullpen. As they find themselves in an early jam with two runs already across and nobody out. Trey will call time and step out. Payoff pitch. That one hit high and deep to center field. Tracking back to the warning track. And gets underneath it and both runners will tag in advance on the sacrifice fly from Trejo. One out now with a runner on third after Goss tagged up on that deep fly from Trejo. And three runs across. That'll bring up second baseman Austin Imbler. Imbler one for three yesterday with an RBI. As he looks at that one for strike one. The 0 1. That one fouled back. It'll be 0 2 to Embler. Embler 3 for 6 in the first two games of this series. The 0-2 on its way. That one swung on and missed for out number two.
that will bring up the DH. Devin Ruiz for UNTG with two outs and a man on third. First pitch to Ruiz is in there for strike one. Leo Wonder Ruiz misses high. That evens it up in a ball and a strike. The one one. This is again, I'll be two and one. Ruiz hitting three twenty one in the season. With a home run and eight RBIs to his credit. As well as four doubles. That one lined up the middle, and that'll be a two out RBI single for Devin Ruiz. Take another look at that base hit. Ruiz right up the middle. That'll extend the Spartan lead to four to nothing. After the single from Ruiz, it'll bring up third baseman Jojo Underwood, who was three for three yesterday with an RBI. First pitch to Underwood. Shows bunt, pulls back though, and takes ball one. Throw to first, not in time. As Ruiz dives back. Malik has come set. And the 1-0 pitch. Shows Bunt again, pops that one up. But foul, and they'll even open the ball on a strike. One one count on Underwood with two outs. And a man on first. Breaking ball finds the zone. That'll be a one two count to the eight hitter Underwood. UNCG four runs across here in the bottom of the first inning. The one two. Breaking ball outside. Snap throw to first. Not in time. Ruiz leads away from first. Count two and two. Ruiz running on the pitch. Underwood swings and comes up empty, and that will be out number three. But not before UNTG is able to do some damage. Four runs on five hits and one error. We'll head to the top of the second. UNTG leading 4 nothing. Human beings can be hungry anytime they please. Maybe you messed up and didn't eat enough lunch. Perhaps dinner is very far away. It doesn't matter. Come to Arby's and solve your hunger problems with dollar sliders, cookies, small size fries, drinks, and shakes, each for a dollar from two to five. P.M., not A.M. Arby's, we have the meat. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. 
To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line, you need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it would be Jason Bramblett. He attracts hundreds of buyers and creates so much demand that Jason can guarantee if your home doesn't sell at a price and deadline you agree to, he will buy it. Partner with the agent I trust. Go online or call and get your home sold. Dan Lutz takes him out in the second inning for the Spartans now with a little bit of wiggle room as the offense was able to put up four runs in the home half of the first. The DH Bryce Leisure will get things started here in the second inning. Leisure one for four yesterday. The 1 0 finds his own and evens it up with a ball and a strike. The one one from Lotz catches the corner. It'll be one and two. The one two just misses. Two two pitch fouled off to the left side towards the Citadel bullpen, and we'll do it again. The 2-2, two -two. right down the middle for a strikeout for Lotus, third of the day. Up to bat, the shortstop, number 18. Take a look at the strikeout from Lotz. William Kinney will dig in with one out and fouls that one back to the backstop. Kinney 0 for 4 yesterday for the Bulldogs. As he watches the 0-1 off the outside, evens it up at a ball and a strike. One one in the dirt. It'll be two and one. The two one pitch from Lotz down the middle. For strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him looking again. And that'll be three straight strikeouts now for Dan Lotes. Now batting the first baseman. The 23. Joe Sabatini. A well located fastball from Lotz on the outside corner. For his fourth strikeout of the day. First pitch to the first baseman, Joe Sabatini, misses outside for ball one. Sabatini 0 for 4 yesterday also. That one misses well high and it'll be 2 0. The 2 0. That one hit sharply to the left field. Trejo will get underneath it. And that'll be out number three. Another three up, three down for Dan Lotz as he struck out four of the first six batters so far. Heading to the bottom of the second, UNTG leading 4 nothing. 
boarded up. Smart now bodies from unprepared for the CG time. to your next get-together with Subway Catering. Featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love, like jalapenos and chipotle southwest sauce. Subway Catering is simple and satisfying, a great value for any budget. Just call 877-360-CATER or visit Subway.com and let us take care of any occasion. Subway, cater for... Bulldogs going to the bullpen early as the new man on the mound will be Thomas Bialik. A rough first inning for the starter by Lakers through 31 pitches in that first inning, gave up four and runs. And the Citadel will go to a righty on the mound. Leading off this inning for the Spartans will be the nine hitter, the catcher Ryan Clinch. Thomas Bialik comes with an 0-4 record, 7-6-2 ERA, making his 15th appearance of the season. He's worked 26 innings. He struck out 30 and walked 14 in that time. He will take over with a 4-0 hole. And 9-1-2 due up. Clint swinging the first pinch, pitch, drills out one to shortstop. Throw to first in time for out number one. That'll bring up the leadoff man, Ben Spitznagel, who got things started last inning for UNCG with a leadoff triple and scored the first of four runs for the Spartans. First pitch to Spitznagel, taken for strike one. The 0-1 pitch from Bialik. This is outside, it'll be one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Finds the corner will be 1 and 2. The 1-2 to Spitznagel. This is low and it'll be 2 and 2. The 2-2 two -two on its way. That one popped into the left field. And a diving effort from the center fielder, Martin, could not come up with it. That one squared away from him, and Spitznagel hustling all the way. Slides head first into third after the ball kicked away. And some heads-up base running from Spitznagel. And UNCG has a man in scoring position. That's one of the things that makes Ben Spitznagel fun to watch. He hustles all the time, and we saw it there with that play as he did not let off the gas at all. And that one gets away from... The catcher Buffington and Spitznagel will score.
That one just got underneath the glove of the Citadel catcher. And Spitznagel is able to advance. Count 1-0 and to Trip Shelton. Who singled and drove in a run last inning. Watches that one for ball two, and it's two and one. Two on pitch popped up into right field. Right fielder tracking back. Catches that one just shy of the warning track for out number two. After the fly out from Shelton, we'll bring up the, the three hitter Andrew Moritz, Number four, Andrew Moritz, who singled and scored a run last inning. UNCG with a 5 nothing lead with a run across this inning. First pitch to Moritz, taking low ball one. The 1 0 and the dirt. It'll be 2 0. The 2 0. That one lined to the left side, and that'll get through for a base hit. A two out single for Andrew Moritz, and he is 2 for 2 today. That'll bring up first baseman Michael Goss, who singled and drove in a run last inning. And we'll look to keep things going for UNCG with two outs here in the second inning. Good piece of hitting from Andrew Moritz taking that ball to the opposite side. And Moritz is a guy that is a steal threat as he goes in the first pitch, throw down to second. In time to get Moritz. And that will retire the side. UNCG tacks on a run thanks to a double and a wild pitch from the, the Citadel. We'll head to the third. UNCG leading 5 nothing. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Some of the changes I've seen myself since I've been here at UNCG is just, I've been really challenged. I've been really encouraged to come out of my comfort zone. As a professor, what I feel is most important is to find that passion. If you have this dream of doing something bigger for the world, but you don't know how to get there, this is the place where you go to figure it out. Lutz taking the member with a 5 nothing lead now here in the third inning. As the 1-0 pitch catches the outside corner. On Clay Martin. The 1-1 one -one in there for a strike and it'll be 1-2 and two now. The 1-2. That one fouled off to the left side. 
and we'll stay put at one and two. Swing and a miss from Martin. It'll be another strikeout for Lotes, his fifth. Now batting, the catcher, number four, Cole Buffington. That'll bring up the eight hitter, Cole Buffington. He swings at the first pitch for strike one. The 0 1 from Lotz. It's in the dirt, and it'll be 1 and 1. Swing and a miss from Buffington. And he's now behind 1 2. The 1 2. Swing and a miss. And another strikeout for Lotes. Number six on the day for Dan Lotes. Take another look at that one. Like a change up blown away. First pitch to the 900 JD Davis misses inside. The 1-0 one, one finds his own. I'll even it up at 1-1. One and one. Davis over 2 yesterday and scored a run. He pops that one up to the right side. Goss shields the sun, tracking into foul territory. And hauls that one in for out number 3. Another flawless hitting for Dan Lopes. He struck out 6 of the first 9. We'll head to the bottom of the third, UNCG leading 5 nothing. The road to Omaha begins. In Greenville, South Carolina, the Southern Conference Baseball Tournament comes to Floor Field May 23rd through 28th. Enjoy some great college baseball with a trip to the NCAAs on the line in a city the New York Times calls one of the top places to go in 2017. Get your tickets to the tournament and book your rooms in Yeah, That Greenville today. Experience the games. Explore the city. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Goss, Trejo, and Imbler, the batters do up this inning for UNCG. UNCG leading 5-0 here in Greensboro. Goss will lead off after Mortz is caught stealing to in the top of the, I mean the bottom of the second. Leading off the bottom of the third inning for the Spartans. The first baseman, number 18, Michael Goss. Goss one for one today with an RBI single back in the first. As he swings the first pitch, that one fouled off for strike one. The 0 1 on its way. Swing and a miss from Goss will be 0 2. The 0 2 pitch. Goss just able to get a piece of that one to stay alive. And we'll stay put at 0 and 2. Up 
Buffington talk things over with Bialect. They're on the same page and we'll resume action. Count 0-2 to the leadoff man, Michael Goss. The 0-2 misses high and away for ball one. The one two pitch. Hide away again, it'll be two and two. The two two. This is inside. And Goss has worked it full. The payoff pitch. Swing and a miss from Goss. And that'll be out number one. That'll bring up the left fielder, Cesar Trejo, who had a sack fly his first time up and tested the limits of this park, hit it to the deepest part of the park in center field and just shy of the warning track. This is a guy that on a day like today as he singles up the middle. Oh, a great play by second baseman. J.D. Davis to get that one. I thought that one was going to get through easy. But Trejo is retired on a great backhanded play up the middle. Now batting, the second baseman, number eight, Austin Embler. Two outs now for second baseman Austin Embler. First pitch misses for ball one. And Blero for one struck out his first time up. As the 1-0 catches the corner to even it up at 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss from Embler and it's now 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss comes up empty from Imbler. And that'll be out number three. A one, two, three inning for the Citadel. Heading to the fourth, UNCG leading five, nothing. Human beings can be hungry anytime they please. Maybe you messed up and didn't eat enough lunch. Perhaps dinner is very far away. It doesn't matter. Come to Arby's and solve your hunger problems with dollar sliders, cookies, small size fries, drinks, and shakes, each for a dollar from two to five. P.M., not A.M. Arby's, we have the meat. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line? You need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it would be Jason Bramblett. He attracts hundreds of buyers and creates so much demand that Jason can guarantee if your home doesn't sell at a price and deadline you agree to, he will buy it. Partner with the agent I trust. Go online or call and get your home sold. Welcome back to Greensboro. We have a good turnout today on a beautiful Mother's Day here in Greensboro. Nice warm sunny day and fans taking advantage of that. Dan Lotz will go through the lineup again here. It got to the, to the lineup the first time unscathed as Cothran will face Lotz for the second time. 
Cawthon struck out in his first at bat. First pitch to him misses high and in. The 1 0. That one popped up to right, but right at Ben Spitznagel. That'll be out number one. The fly out from Cothram will bring up the two hitter Jeffrey Brown. He grounded too short his first at bat. First pitch in there for strike one. That one fouled off and it'll be 0 and 2. The one two. That one grounded to second. Embler slides over. Throw to first in time. And that'll be out number two. Now batting. The third baseman. Number 15, Jonathan Sabo. Jonathan Sabo will step in now. Watches the first pitch for strike one. He struck out back in the first inning. Yeah, one pitch makes its way to the backstop. That'll be one and one. One one in the dirt. It'll be two and one. Two one pitch. That one lined sharply to left field. And that'll get down for extra bases. Sabo rounds first, heads to second. And we'll reach second on a stand up double. The Citadel with their first base runner of the day. As they get in the hit column here in the fourth inning. Sabo squared one up and ripped that one down into the corner. And the Bulldogs now with a man on second and, nobody, and two out. How to bring up the D.H. Bryce Leisure. It was 0 for 1 with a strikeout. First pitch misses outside for ball one. The 1 0. This is inside, it'll be 2 0. Float stairs in, working for the stretch for the first time today. The 2-0 pitch. Mrs. Lowe, it'll be 3-0. The 3-0. Right down Broadway. It'll be three and one now on leisure. Lopes gets the sign from Clinch will come set. And the three one pitch. 
That one lined up the middle. That'll get down for a base hit. Andrew Mortz will come up throwing. But not in time as Sabo scores from second. It'll be an RBI single for Bryce Leisure. Score now 5-1. UNCG still leading. But the Bulldogs able to cut into that lead. Andrew Mortz came up throwing on that one, but throw not in time. And it'll be an RBI single. William Kinney will be the batter now. He is over one with the strikeout. Like many of the Bulldog hitters so far today. First pitch hit misses outside. And it's one and out. The 1-0. That one popped high up in the infield. Michael Goss tracking it down. And squeezes that one for the third out of the inning. The Bulldogs managed to cut into the Spartan lead. We will head to the bottom of the fourth. UNCG still leading 5-1. to one. Your score is UNCG 5, the Citadel 1. Academy Bucks to your next get-together with Subway Catering. Featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love, like jalapenos and chipotle southwest sauce. Subway Catering is simple and satisfying a great value for any budget just call 877-360-CATER or visit subway.com and let us take care of any occasion subway cater from seven eight nine due up for untg in the fourth inning as ruiz hacks at the first pitch and fouls that one off Rees singled back in the first inning. The 0-1, that one lined to right field, and that'll get down. It'll be extra bases for Ruiz. He heads to second, and will go in standing up with a leadoff double. A two-hit day now for Devin Ruiz. As JoJo Underwood will come up with a man on second and nobody out. Now batting, the third baseman, number 21, JoJo Underwood. Underwood 0 for 1 today. He struck out his first time up. As he takes the first pitch for strike one. Oh, one one count on Underwood. Underwood. 
Violet gets his sign from Buffington and comes set. And the 0-1 misses high and will even it up at 1-1. One one. Underwood will call time and step out. The 1-1 one -one pitch shows Bunt and lays down a good one down the third base line. And that will remove Ruiz up to third on the sacrifice Bunt. UNCG now with a man on third. One out for the catcher Ryan Clinch. At the plate, the catcher. Seven. Who is 0 for 1 today? Bulldogs bringing the infield in, hoping to cut down the runner at home. First pitch to clinch. Breaking ball catches the corner. It'll be 0 and 1. The 0-1, another breaking ball just off the outside. And now leaving it up at 1-1. One and one. One, one count on clinch. who shows bunt and gets a good squeeze bunt down, and that will score the run, and he's safe at first. We will wait to see if that one is ruled a base hit, and it is. It is a bunt single and an RBI for Ryan Clinch. Good job of just getting the bunt down and hustling out of the box. And UNTG gets a run back. We'll go back to the top of the order now with Ben Spitznagel, who is two for two today with a triple and a double to his credit. The 1 0. This is inside. It'll be 2 0. The 2 0. Ryan Clinch on the run. Throw it on to second. Gets into center field. Clinch heading to third and will slide in safely. And UCG now with the man on third and one out. A good job by Vince Fitznagel with a protection swing there. As Clinch steals second, heads to third on the throw. 2 1 count. Breaking ball broke late. It'll be 3 and 1.
The three one pitch to Spitznagel. This is inside, it'll be a walk. UNCG with men on the corners for the short shot trip. Shelton, who's one for two today. He singled, scored a run, and drove in a run back in the first. And flew out to right his last time up. Ryan clinched the runner on third. Spitznagel remain on first as Tripp Shelton swings to the first pitch and drives that one deep to the left center field gap. It'll get down for extra bases. One run will score. Two runs will score. And Tripp Shelton will hold up at second base with a one-out, two-RBI double. And UNTG extends that lead. Trip Shelton now with three RBIs on the day, and that will close the book on Bialik as UNC as the Citadel will head to the bullpen. We'll take a quick break and be back with that pitching change. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Some of the changes I've seen myself since I've been here at UNCG is just, I've been really challenged. I've been really encouraged to come out of my comfort zone. As a professor, what I feel is most important is to find that passion. Do you have this dream of doing something bigger for the world, but you don't know how to get there? This is the place where you go to figure it out. Bulldogs will go to a lefty, and it'll be Marlon Morris making his 26th appearance of the season. Enters play today with a 5.20 ERA in 27 and two-thirds innings of work, where he struck out 36, walked 15, and given up 16 earned runs. He will take over with a runner on second. And Trip Shelton with one out and the three hitter Andrew Moritz digging in. Andrew Moritz two for two today with a pair of singles. Be a lefty lefty matchup this time up. First pitch blown away for ball one. UNCG with three runs across this inning. And exiting that lead to eight to one. The one oh misses inside and it's two and oh. The 2-0, high and away, and it'll be 3-0. More Sears in. And the 3-0. This is high, and it'll be a four-pitch walk to Andrew Moritz.
runners on first and second now for Michael now Goss. The first baseman, number 18, Michael Goss. Goss one for two today. He singled and drove in a run and scored a run in the first. As he takes a breaking ball for strike one. Count 0 and 1. Goss will step out and reset. Wind blowing out to right field, and Goss is a guy who can make you pay with some power. He's able to elevate one. Could get one to carry out. Buffington and Morris will talk things over. Counts 0 and 1 on Goss with one out. And two men on. The O one in the dirt. It'll be one and one. Two on and one out in the home half of the fourth. Goss pops that one up to the right side. Sabatini tracking towards the UNCG dugout. And pulls that one in for the second out of the inning. Two outs now for left fielder Cesar Trejo. Trejo had a sacrifice fly in RBI back in the first inning. And grounded out his last time up. UNCG with three runs across here in the fourth. As Trejo takes a breaking ball on the outside. For strike one. Oh, one count. Morris comes set and delivers the 0-1. This is way outside. Now leaving it up at a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One -one. Inside will be 2-1. The 2 1. That one popped back. Foul, and even up at 2 and 2. Two 2 count on Caesar Trejo. With two men on and two out, and three across this half inning. Stairs in, gets his sign and comes set. And the 2-2 two -two on its way. That one grounded too short. Flipped a second the short way. And that'll do it for this half inning. UNTG able to extend that lead to 8-1. to one. We will head to the fifth. UNTG up 8-1.
The road to Omaha begins in Greenville, South Carolina. The Southern Conference Baseball Tournament comes to Floor Field May 23rd through 28th. Enjoy some great college baseball with a trip to the NCAAs on the line in a city the New York Times calls one of the top places to go in 2017. Get your tickets to the tournament and book your rooms in Yeah, That Greenville today. Experience the games. Explore the city. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Spartan offense able to add some insurance run f runs for Dan Lotz, who now is an 8-1 to one lead in the fifth inning. Leading off this inning will be first baseman Joe Sabatini. He flew out to the left his first time up. Shows bunt, but pulls back and takes strike one. The 0 1 offering. All speed misses high and in. Evens it up at 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch misses again. It'll be 2 and 1 on Sabatini. Swing from Sabatini. Sabatini comes up empty. And we're all even at 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch from Lotz. Growing up the middle off his glove. And that will get through for a base hit. A leadoff single from Sabatini. We'll bring up center fielder Clay Martin. Another look at the single from Sabatini. Deflected off the top of Lotz's glove and got up the middle. Is he able? He was able to reach base safely with a single. Martin takes the first pitch down the middle for strike one. He is over one today. He struck out in the third. The 0-1, lined into right field, and that'll be a base hit. Sabatini rounding second, and we'll put on the brakes there. And it's back-to-back -back singles to start the fifth inning for the Bulldogs. Coming to the plate, the catcher, number 14, Cole Buffington. Two on and nobody out for the eight hitter Cole Buffington. He too is 0 for 1, struck out in the third. First pitch in the zone for strike one. The 0-1 from Lotz. Swung on and miss. It's now 0-2. The 
the 0-2. That one ground to the middle to Lotz. Lotz to third for out number one. Over to first. Bang, bang, play. Not in time. But UNTG able to get the lead runner out at third for out number one. Buffington will reach sa safely on the fielder's choice. Now back the second baseman. Number 13, J.D. Davis. As Clay Martin moved up to second on that play. Said it'll still mid on first and second, but one out for J.D. Davis. He swings at the first pitch and fouls it off. He's 0 for 1 today. He flew out to third and the third. The 0-1. Breaking ball just off the outside. It'll be one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Davis. Swung on and missed. It'll be 1-2. and two. Float stares in. Gets a sign from Clinton. Comes set. And the 1-2. Swung on and missed. First strikeout number seven on the day for Dan Lotz and out number two. Now back for right fielder, number two, Taylor Cotter. Two on, two out for the leadoff man, Taylor Cotherin, who was over two today. First pitch misses high for ball one. The 1 0 pitch from Lotz. Grounded to the right side. And the very rare broken metal bat. <laughs> On that one, on the ground out to end the inning. That is something you don't see every day. That will do it for the top of the fifth. UTG carrying an 8-1 to one lead into the bottom half of the inning. In the top of the fifth, there were no runs on two hits. No errors. Two runners left on base. Through four and a half. Human beings can be hungry anytime they please. Maybe you messed up and didn't eat enough lunch. Perhaps dinner is very far away. It doesn't matter. Come to Arby's and solve your hunger problems with dollar sliders, cookies, small size fries, drinks, and shakes, each for a dollar from two to five. P.M., not A.M. Arby's, we have the meat. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line, you need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it would be Jason Bramblett. He attracts hundreds of buyers and creates so much demand that Jason can guarantee if your home doesn't sell at a price and deadline you agree to, he will buy it. Partner with the agent I trust. Go online or call and get your home sold. Bottom of the fifth, almost set to get underway here. It'll be Imbler, Ruiz, and Underwood due up.
UNCG leading 8-1. to one. Still a little <laughs> blown away by how that inning ended with a broken metal bat for the Citadel. Made the weirdest sound I've ever heard a bat make, and I was very confused and saw the barrel of the bat flying out towards the pitcher's mound. <laughs> Embler will dig in now to start this half inning. He's over two today with a pair of strikeouts as he takes strike one. Yeah, take another look at this. Not many times you're going to see the barrel of a aluminum bat flying back to the pitcher and the handle still in the hand of the batter. Pitch on its way to Impler. That one hit high and deep to right field going back to the wall and unable to come up with that. They'll get down for extra bases. Impler will go into second standing up. And it'll be a leadoff double for Austin Embler. That one looked like it may have had a chance of getting out. And a good effort from the right fielder, Taylor Cothran, unable to come up with it. And that will be the seventh double on the year for Austin Embler. That'll bring up the DH Devin Ruiz who is two for two today with a single and a double. Singled and driven a run back in the first inning. That one tapped out to shortstop. And that will get under the glove of Kinney. Austin Imbler will score on that one. And everybody is safe. UNCG will extend the lead to Now back, Super Number 21, JoJo Underwood. That one ruled an infield single for Devin Ruiz, but no RBI due to the error by the shortstop, William Kinney. UNCG leading 9-1 to one with a runner on first and nobody out. That one fouled back by Underwood. Underwood 0 for one day. He had a sacrifice bunt his last time up. That led to an RBI single from Ryan Clinch. Underwood lines that one to the left side, and that'll get through for a base hit. Reeves will head to third. And he will go in standing up, and Underwood will hold up at first with a single. UNCG now with men on the corners thanks to this single from Underwood. Up to bat, the catcher, number seven, Ryan Clinch. And he'll bring up the catcher, Ryan Clinch, with... Two with two on and nobody out. He singled, drove in a run, and scored a run his last time up. Clint will call time and step out. And he digs back in and we're ready to go. 
Ruiz the runner on third, Underwood the man on first. As Clinch grounds that one to second. Over to the bag for the out, but unable to get the back end of the double play, and Ruiz will score. That extends the lead to 10 to 1 for UNCG. As Clinch reach, reaches base safely on the fielder's Jordan choice. Three, and we'll go to the top of the order with Ben Spitznagel, who's two for two today with a triple and a double. And a walk to his credit. He's also scored three runs. First one to him. Ground and foul for strike number one. Spitznagel fouled the one off his foot, but he walks it off and he's back in the box now. Count 0 1 on him. And Ryan Clinch, the runner on first. Throw to first, not in time from Morris. bit of chin music from Morris. Fitzangle able to get out of the way and it'll be one and one. That one hit high and deep to right center field but will be tracked down for out number two. That'll bring up Trip Shelton with two outs and a man on first base. Now batting, the shortstop, number two, Trip Shelton. Trip Shelton, two for three today with three RBIs. Grounds that one sharply to short. Over to second for the out, and that will do it this Half inning, UNCG tack on two more. They extend that lead to 10 to 1, heading to the top of the sixth. with Subway Catering, featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love, like jalapenos and Chipotle Southwest sauce. Subway Catering is simple and satisfying, a great value for any budget. Just call 877-360-CATER or visit Subway.com and let us take care of any occasion. Subway, cater fresh. It'll be the top of the lineup due up for the Bulldogs here in the sixth inning. They're trailing 10-1. to one. As this UNCG offense has really shown up today. They scored in every inning except for one so far. Able to tack on a couple more in that last half inning to extend the lead to 10-1. to one. 
Dolph, the top of the sixth inning for the Citadel. The left fielder, number eight, Jeffrey Brown. It'll be Jeffrey Brown leading off. He is 0 for 2 today with a pair of ground outs. That one chopped up the middle. Embler ranging to his left, unable to come up with it, and Brown will head to second. After that one deflected off the glove of Embler into left field. That'll put a man on second to start this inning for the Bulldogs. Now batting, the third baseman. Tough play for Embler to try to make. It'll bring up third baseman Jonathan Sabo. He doubled and scored the lone run in the fourth. He takes first pitch. For strike one. The 0 1 pitch. That one grounded to third. Underwood Fields throws over to Gossett first in time for out number one. Runner unable to advance on that ground out. At the plate, the designated hitter, number nine, Bryce Leisure. And it'll bring up the DH, Bryce Leisure, who singled in a run his last time up. That one grown up the middle. Austin Embler unable to get to that one, and that will score. Another run for the Bulldogs. Now Another RBI single for Bryce Leisure. And this score is now 10 2 with a man on first. And one away. That one grounded to short six. And a wild throw from Trip Shelton. And Leisure will head home. The throw from Goss was a good one. And forced Leisure to hold up at third. And the Bulldogs have men on second and third now, still only one away. Now batting, the first baseman, number 23, Joe Sabatini. Another look at that last play. Looks like it could have been a double play, but the throw got away from Trip Shelton. And the Bulldogs have two men on. Smart decision by Leisure to throw on the brakes at third because that was a great throw from Goss to the plate. And he would have been hosed. Two men in scoring position, still only one away for first baseman Joe Sabatini who singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. That one in the dirt. Got away from Ryan Clinch, but runners unable to advance. It'll be strike one. Right. 
Count 0 and 1. And the pitch from Lotz. Catch the outside corner to 0 and 2. The 0-2 pitch. Grown it sharply to the left side, and they'll get through. One run will score. And that is all that will score. A good throw from Cesar Trejo to the plate, but runner not going. It's now 10-3. to Bulldogs with men on the corner still one away and two runs across so far in the top of the sixth. Clay Martin stepping in. He singled his last time up. Swing and a miss for strike one. Martin one for two today. He singled and struck out. The 0 1, that one line triply to the right side, and they'll score another run. RBI single for Clay Martin is now 10 to 4. Still only one out. Some activity down in the Spartan bullpen. As the Bulldogs have plated three runs this inning. Pinch hitting for the Bulldogs. Number five, Barrett Sharpie. First pitch from Lotz. Misses for ball one. A pinch hitter stepping in for the Bulldogs. That's number five, Barrett Sharpie as he takes that one for ball two. And Ryan Clinch will talk things over with Dan Lotz, who has struggled this inning. Three runs across for the Citadel. And two men on and one out. And Link Jarrett will come talk things over. No signal on if he's going to the bullpen. Warming up down there is number 30, Jack Maynard. And he will, in fact, go to the bullpen. That will end the day for Dan Lotz. We'll take a quick break and come back with the pitching change. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. 
These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. Some of the changes I've seen myself since I've been here at UNCG is just, I've been really challenged. I've been really encouraged to come out of my comfort zone. As a professor, what I feel is most important is to find that passion. Do you have this dream of doing something bigger for the world, but you don't know how to get there? This is the place where you go to figure it out. The Spartans will go to the bullpen to the righty Jack Maynard who will take over with two men on and one out and three runs across so far this inning. And he will take over in a 2-0 count on the pinch hitter Sharpia. Maynard making his 19th appearance of the year with a 4-6-3 ERA. In 58 and a third innings of work. Struck out 68 and walked 17 in that time. His last time out was in game one of this series. He worked three innings of scoreless relief. where he struck out seven. As that one misses high and in, it's now three and oh. The two runners on base still, Dan Lotz's responsibility. As a 3-0 is in there for strike one. The 3-1 pitch on the corner for straight two, and it's now a full count. The payoff pitch. This is wide for ball four, and it'll be a walk. That will load the bases. Up the bat. For the number nine hitter, J.D. Davis. Number Davis. He is 0 for 2 today. He was one of seven strikeout victims of Dan Lotz today. That one misses wide, ball one. Count one to no on Davis. That walk to Sharpie accredited to Dan Lotz. The 1-0. This inside and it's now 2 1 out. The 2 0 for Maynard. Misses wide and it's now 3 0. Maynard nowhere to put him and a walk would walk in a run. That one misses inside and it'll be a four pitch walk. 
And that will play a run. Four runs across now for the Bulldogs this inning. It's now 10 to 5. Now batting, the right fielder, number two, Taylor Cochran. And that'll go to the top of the order in Taylor Cothran. He takes that one for ball one and has had to count 1-0. Activity stirring down in the Spartan bullpen again will be Andrew Wance getting loose. The 1-0 from Maynard. Finds his own. It's now one and one. Base is loaded one out. Here in the top of the sixth inning. The one one misses wide and it's two and one. Maynard having a hard time finding the zone. The 2 1. Swung on and missed. That evens it up at 2 and 2. Two, 2 count to Taylor Cothran. Pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, and an important strikeout for Jack Maynard. Take a look at that strikeout. Buried one down in the dirt. And that'll be out number two. That'll bring up Jeffrey Brown, who led off this inning with a single. First pitch him is in there for strike one. The 0 1. Ground to the left side. Underwood backhands and steps on third. That one called foul. And the runners will reset. Count 0-2 on Jeffrey Brown. That one misses wide. It'll be 1-2. One, two. That one popped up on the infield. Trip Shelton will camp underneath it. And squeeze that one for out number three. But the Citadel able to do some damage sending and cut into that lead. They played it four runs and cut that lead to ten to five and will head to the bottom of the sixth. The road to Omaha begins in Greenville, South Carolina. The Southern Conference Baseball Tournament comes to Floor Field May 23rd through 28th. Enjoy some great college baseball with a trip to the NCAAs on the line in a city the New York Times calls one of the top places to go in 2017. Get your tickets to the tournament and book your rooms in Yeah, that Greenville today. Experience the games. Explore the city. These are the student athletes. This is where they train. 
These are their homes. This is where they become Rhodes Scholars and academic All-Americans. These are the athletes they've always admired. This is where champions are crowned and moments are made. This is the Southern Conference. The Bulldogs will go to the bullpen again here. It will be Kyle Smith making his 13th appearance of the year. Coming in today with a 5-5-2 RA in 14 and two-thirds innings of work. The Bulldogs will shuffle around some as well. Leisure, who was originally d will come in to catch. Then Barrett Sharpie will stay in as the DH for the Citadel. Do up this inning for UNCG will be Andrew Mortz, Michael Goss, and Cesar Trejo. The Bulldogs able to really cut into the Spartan lead last inning. It's now 10-5. to five. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mortz digs in and will lead off this inning. He is two for two today with a pair of singles and a walk as he takes that one for strike one. You go one, ground to the right side, and that'll get through for another single for Andrew Moritz. It's his third of the day. And the UNCG Spartans have a leadoff man on. Now batting the first baseman, number 18, Michael Goss. That'll bring up the first baseman, Michael Goss. He is one for three today. He singled back in the first inning and driven a run. He takes the first pitch for a strike and it's 0-1. Morris leads away from first. He is a threat to run. As he dives back on the pickoff attempt. Snap third on a first from Leisure, not in time. The pitch misses high for ball one. Count even at one and one to Goss. And Moritz running on the pitch and a good hit and run. And he will head to third. Mort safe at third, standing up. And a well-executed hit and run from the Spartans. And they have men on the corners. A good job from Michael Goss to hit behind the stealing Andrew Moritz. And they have two men on and nobody out. Take a look at that. Job by Goss, second baseman covering and found the hole. Cesar Trejo, the batter, 0 for 2 today with a sacrifice flying an RBI. First pitch is in there for strike one.
the 0 1. Big swing and a miss from Trejo, and it's 0 2. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and it'll be a strikeout for Kyle Smith. After the Caesar Trejo strikeout, they'll bring up Austin Imbler, who doubled and scored a run his last time up. First pitch to Imbler. He shows bunt, pops that one up. And the catcher to Leisure will glove that one for out number two. Up to bat, the designated hitter, number 28, Devin Ruiz. After... The failed bunt attempt from Austin Imbler to bring up Devin Ruiz, who is three for three today. With two singles and a double. First pitch misses for ball one. Two on and two out here in the bottom of the sixth. That one misses and it's now 2-0. and oh. Moritz, the runner on third, Goss at first. And the pitch to Ruiz misses and it's 3 0. Oh. 3 0 -oh count on Devin Ruiz. A big swing and miss, and it's 3 and 1. That one misses high. It'll be a walk to Ruiz. That will load the bases for JoJo Underwood. He is one for two today. He singled his last time up. The third baseman, number 21, Jojo Underwood. Go, go, go. You can see G with the man on every base and two outs. First pitch to Underwood. Finds his own for strike one. The 
the 0 1 pitch. This is high, and it's even at, ball, at a ball and a strike. Smith comes set in the 1-1. One, one. That one lined sharply in the left center field, and that will get down for extra bases. One run scores. Two runs score. The third run rounding third heading home. Play at the plate. A bang, bang play, and he is out at the plate. A good relay throw. Nails Ruiz at the plate, but two runs cross. As UNCG is able to add to the lead thanks to the two RBI base hit from JoJo Underwood. We'll head to the top of the seventh. Spartans leading 12-5. Human beings can be hungry anytime they please. Maybe you messed up and didn't eat enough lunch. Perhaps dinner is very far away. It doesn't matter. Come to Arby's and solve your hunger problems with dollar sliders, cookies, small size fries, drinks, and shakes, each for a dollar from two to five. P.M., not A.M. Arby's, we have the meat. Hi, I'm Barbara Corcoran. To sell your home on time for the most money, you need a sharp agent with a marketing strategy that creates the most demand. Bottom line, you need a partner willing to put their own money on the line for you. In Greensboro and Winston-Salem, it would be Jason Bramblett. He attracts hundreds of buyers and creates so much demand that Jason can guarantee if your home doesn't sell at a price and deadline you agree to, he will buy it. Partner with the agent I trust. Go online or call and get your home sold. UNCG able to get a couple of runs back last inning. They are leading by 7, 12 to 5 here. Heading into the top of the seventh inning. It'll be 3, 4, 5 due up for the Bulldogs this half inning. Jack Maynard back out to work. Another inning of relief. The official line on Dan Lotes, he went five and a third innings, gave him eight hits, four and runs. He walked a man and struck out seven. And the first pitch to Sabo is fouled back for strike one. Save a one for three today. So he takes that one in the dirt for ball one. The one one. Fouled off and it's now one and two. The one two swung on and missed. Clinch will throw down to first. And that'll be out number one. It's Maynard's second strikeout of the day. Up to bat, the catcher, number nine, Bryce Leisure. And that'll bring up the catcher number nine, Bryce Leisure. Who's two for three today? He has two RBI singles to his credit today. 
The 0 1 swung on a miss is now 0 2. The 0 2. Off the top of Clinch's glove to the backstop, and it's 1 and 2. One, two, popped up. Trip Shelton tracking back and able to pull that one in for out number two. Now batting, the shortstop, number 18, William Kinney. That'll bring up the shortstop, William Kinney. Who is 0 for 3 today? As he takes the first pitch for ball one. Breaking ball swung on and missed. It's evened up at a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. That one line sharply to right center field. Andrew Moritz tracking to the right. Unable to get there. And it'll be a single for Kenny. After the two-out single, that will bring up the first baseman, Joe Sabatini, who is two for three today with a couple of singles. As that one's ground up the middle, and it'll get through for a base hit. Back-to-back -back two-out singles for the Bulldogs will bring up the center fielder Clay Martin. He is two for three today, also with a couple of singles, including RBI singles last time up. Sabatini sending that one back where it came from with a single up the middle. Swing comes up empty for Martin and will be. Strike one. The O one pitch. This is outside and it's one and one. pitch. This is high and it's now two and one. Maynard stares in. And the two one pitch. That one swung on and missed. to even the count at two and two with two outs. Two on and two out. And the two two pitch is swung on and missed. And that'll be a strikeout to end the inning for the Spartans. We will stretch here in Greensboro. Spartans leading 12 to five.
to your next get-together with Subway Catering. Featuring good-to-go boxed meals with a side and freshly baked cookie, crowd-pleasing giant subs, and piled-high sandwich platters overflowing with flavorific choices. All made the way you say with everything you love, like jalapenos and Chipotle Southwest sauce. Subway Catering is simple and satisfying, a great value for any budget. Just call 877-360-CATER or visit Subway.com and let us take care of any occasion. Subway, cater fresh. Heading into the bottom of the seventh inning. UNCG with a 12 to five lead. It'll be 9-1-2 due up this half inning. Leading things off will be the catcher, Ryan Clinch. He is one for three with an RBI single and a score to run. The catcher, number seven, Ryan Clinch. First pitch to Clinch. Finds his own and it's own one. The 0-1 on its way. Finds his own again. It's now 0-2. Clint spits Nagel and Shelton. The batters do up for UNTG in the seventh inning. As Clinch is in an 0-2 hole. That one lined to the left side. And that'll get down. A leadoff single for Ryan Clinch. We'll send it to the top of the order in Ben Spitznagel. Up to bat, the right fielder, number three, Ben Spitznagel. Spitznagel two for three today. He's triple doubled and walked and scored three runs. And he takes that one for strike one. Throw over to first, not in time. The 0-1 is in there for strike two. And it's now 0-2 to Spitznagel. The 0-2, that one grown to the right side. And it'll be a base hit for Ben Spitznagel. A seeing eye single. Now batting, the shortstop. Back to back base hits for UNCG. Men on first and second with nobody out, and Trip Shelton stepping up. Spitzdagel, a home run shy of the cycle right now. Shelton bunts, and the throw sails to the outfield, and Ryan Clinch will score.
a throwing error from the pitcher Kyle Smith sailed down the left field side Ryan Clinch able to score to Bitsnagel to third and Shelton to second That extends the Spartan lead to 13 to 5. With two men in scoring position and still nobody out. Andrew Moritz will be the batter. He is three for three today with three singles. He has reached base safely all four times today, including a walk back in the fourth. First pitch to him misses outside and it's one and out. The one out fouled back and it evens it up at a ball and a strike. Count two and one on Andrew Moritz. The two one. And that will be a, another base hit for Andrew Moritz. One run will score. Trip Shelton heading home. A play at the plate. Not in time. As Trip Shelton slides in safely. And it'll be a two RBI single for Andrew Moore. It's his fourth hit of the day. And that will do it for this one. UNCG with a 15 to 5 win today here against the Citadel to wrap up the home part of their schedule UNCG will head to Stanford to wrap up the regular season they win today 15 to 5 thanks to a run rule here in Greensboro. Once again, the final here, 15 to 5. I am Kenny Mann. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next time.